we will open it up with questions for the student athletes. Gary Graves, Associated Press. For Enrique, when, uh, when you look back on last night's game, were you still kind of amazed by some of the shots you, you got and by how, how they fell? Uh, I think it was just a great game in total. I think our whole team played really well together without Brianna, and I'm just really, really excited to play on Sunday. Tom Fitzgerald, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Lindsay, uh, I know coaches don't like to talk about revenge, but I wonder about the players, you know, uh, especially since you had such a disappointing upset against Stanford last year. Is revenge a, uh, uh, obviously the big, the big motivation is to get to the Final Four, but is, how much is revenge, sheer revenge, a factor in this game? <laughs> Um, I don't see it as revenge, I don't think, because, um, I mean, we beat them two years ago, and then they beat us last year, so I guess this game could technically be a tiebreaker, where it takes all type of game. So I think um, the real motivation is making it to the Final Four and continuing to play. Mark Hauser with Westwood. Uh, any of the, the young ladies, what, what do you recall about last year's game against Stanford that still sticks with you? I think something that really sticks out to me is um, the feeling in the locker room afterwards. Our seniors were heartbroken, and I think for me that just kind of stuck. That's something that I don't want um, any of our seniors have to go through, especially Sunday. So I think that's um, the motivation that's sticking with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I know each year is different, but say, you know, Lindsay, when you face a team as often as as uh, Stanford, how I mean, how differently do you kind of prepare for them uh, this time? Is it just because of the stakes or, or you know, do you just kind of rely on, on past experience against them? Um, I think it's mostly just um, looking at their team and their makeup and then looking at their offense and what they run. Um, you know, most teams run the same kind of sets year to year, just different players in different spots. So I think um, just noticing who's hot at the time, um, who do they have? Who do they normally go to um, in crunch situations? And then just kind of figure it out from there. Marina, uh, this is almost like, almost like a home game for you in the sense that you have way more fans than, than Stanford has. You, you had a, a large contingent the other night. How much of a factor is that for you folks? I mean, do you, do you hear the crowd? Do you, does, you, do, is that something you feed off of? Uh, what kind of a factor is that for you? Um, well, we have the best fans in the country, so we always like to see them in the stands cheering for us. Um, it definitely helps us with momentum when we score a couple of baskets and they're loud and encouraging. I agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go over here to the left and then the right. Time with your coach, would you expect with one day to prepare, it's just a matter of refining what you put in for last night? Yeah, I think it is. I think, obviously, it's tough to go over um, what everything that Stanford does in one day, but I think... Um, with this team, it's just kind of refining things, um, looking at kind of mismatches that we'll have and making sure that we're exploiting those and that we're, you know, just remembering those and having that muscle memory um, to continue through this game. Uh, Lindsay, when uh, you have a game um, like, I mean, when the team has a game like last night where six players were in double figures and you're able to spread it out, especially under the adverse circumstances. I mean, what does that kind of say about this team or, or what did that kind of reveal about this team that you didn't know before? Um, I think just overall it was a really fun game to be a part of. Um, you know, when we're sharing the ball and we're being unselfish, when, you know, we're happy for everyone's success and everyone's, you know, getting hype and everyone's laughing and smiling, things like that, I think it's just a fun game to be a part of um, and it's just been fun 
over the past season to just be able to enjoy it, and especially this past game. We're playing with a ton of confidence, a ton of swagger, and then, you know, just trying to continue that into this next game. Uh, a question for Aaron. I mean, with, you're coming back last night and, and having a home crowd kind of, you know, the, the same homecoming theme. Uh, how, how much of a relief was it for you to have that kind of game and kind of get that whole thing behind you and just look at it as just another game? Um, I don't know if I would say it was a relief, but it was, uh, it, like Lindsay said, it was a fun game to be a part of. And um, um, now I'm just focused on um, the game for Sunday, but um, I think it's the same kind of mindset going in tomorrow as we had uh, yesterday. Lindsay, for those who haven't, for those of us who haven't seen a lot of your games this year, uh, how uh, interesting is it to have a five foot eight player that you're throwing lobs to uh, down low? Somebody who's so strong as Enrique. This is, she's, it seems to me that she's an extremely unusual player. How, what is it like, from your vantage point, to, to watch her in action? <laughs> um, watching Enrique play is just like, I mean, it's always a fun experience. Sometimes I just get caught watching her when I should be playing alongside her. But, um, I mean, she's such a unique player because she's so strong and um, just able to kind of bully people down low. But also, you know, she's super quick with the ball. And so she's able to slash and find her driving lanes. But she can also shoot the three. And um, she's worked on her game um, so long and so hard this past summer. And so you see, uh, you know, what she did this past summer, but I think it's playing with her is a lot of fun because you get that energy from her, you get that swagger and that confidence from her, and then it's just really infectious and it kind of just spreads throughout the whole team. Kat, last night was the most minutes you've played in a long time. How's the ankle today? Um, you know, not too bad. Um, I thought it'd be a little worse, but it um, feels pretty good right now, so. Enrique, with the, with the kind of game you all had last night, um, now is it kind of a thing where there's no defined go-to player as it might have looked with Brianna that uh, now all of you have to be accounted for in some way? I think we all just need to step up, which we did, and we all have amazing players. I mean, the freshmen, they were both national players of the years, and we have a lot of McDonald's All-American players, so I think we just work well as a team, and we all bring individual traits that are will help this team be successful in this show last night. Any other questions for the student athletes? If not, then they can be dismissed. Thank you very much. And we'll open it up with questions for the head coach. Coach, do you like matching wits with Tara? I'll tell you, she's a phenomenal coach. Uh, definitely um, a Hall of Fame coach who always gets the best out of her teams. Um, she is just incredibly smart, which makes her teams really smart. And um, it's not a really fun game to, to play. Uh, I always look at teams that um, are just well coached and really smart. They're very, very difficult to beat. Buffett, what is the specific challenge of playing this Stanford team? Uh, they uh, obviously, this is the post Oguimike era for them, but they, uh, they have uh, a lot of weapons now, and, but, uh, and they've obviously played great defense, but I was just wondering from, from your standpoint, how, you know, uh, what do you see in this particular team that may, have been diff may be different from previous Stanford teams? I think experience and poise. Um, they definitely score the ball a lot better than they did last year. Um, but just their, their game experience, they never get rattled, never lose their poise. Uh, they have a lot of different weapons, a lot of different people that can hurt you. Everybody plays their role exactly. Nobody tries to do too much. Um, so they're, they're a really tough matchup for us. Coach, in, in terms of what your program has done over the last eight, nine, ten years and the, the ability to kind of maintain a standard class after class, could that have happened without the national championship in 2001, even though it was a different era? Did you need that building block for this current era? 
You know, I, I think it helped me a little bit just knowing that we were capable of getting there. Um, but I, I really think Skylar did so much to change the culture of our program when she came in. Uh, she she just set a new tone and changed things. Changed. Uh, really brought the level up in terms of practicing and you know we were able to carry it on after she left i think that was probably her biggest legacy for us coach i know you, you try not to look too far down the road you know, not past the, the next game in fact but when this bracket was set up and you saw that stanford was in it did, did the thought cross your mind oh no we've got to go through them again possibly and did that kind of prepare you for this moment you know i think the first look at the bracket actually came when the three were revealed and we hadn't been up yet. And, and my first thought was Ohio State's going to be in our bracket. And then we started thinking, uh oh, we got Texas. Man, we got Stanford. That's going to be a, that's a tough four teams that we're going to have to um, eventually play. So, you know, I, I think it was, it was good to look at it that way. But, um, you know, with, without Bree, it kind of changes things a little bit for us. But uh, it was an opportunity for us to, uh, to look at what we did last year and to see if we can take one more step. That's a terrible answer. Buffett, the, uh, the players kind of downplayed the, uh, the revenge factor, and I was kind of curious to hear what your point of view is on that. Is this like the rubber game of a three-game three set, or, is, <laughs> or, are, or are you itching to pay them back for last year? Well, I, I think whenever you lose a game, um, you know, during the year, when you lose a game, you want to play that team again. Um, when it's the last game of the season, you don't get a chance to do that again. So um, I think we know what we're up against. We know how good they are. So I, I won't say we would look forward to it um, because we know it's going to be a tough matchup. Do you recruit many players? Uh, you and Stanford go after the same players a lot? All the time, yes. We have very similar uh, things we look for in players, and we, we constantly recruit against them. Which brings me to the, the, the other question, though. You've only played twice in the regular season. Why is that? Why not play, you know, your football teams play each other every year. You've got two schools that are high caliber basketball with a big academic reputations. Why don't you play each other in the regular season? You know, we've talked about playing. I think the biggest thing, we don't have any kids from the West Coast. Generally, when we set our schedule, we like to go to go home if so players can play in front of their, uh, their home crowds. We're not really recruiting a lot in California right now. So um, if that changes, I think that's a reason to go out there. We had been playing USC and UCLA. Uh, we had been going out with football. When USC played, we'd go out, um, play the night before. So, it was, you know, it was kind of a... A rivalry game, but uh, it, it's something I think that we would we would look to explore. But you just travel so much being in the ACC, I and mean, it's not exactly a, a great footprint for us. So um, try not to travel quite as much outside the conference season if we can. You, you were talking about last night how proud you were of the underclassmen and how they kind of came together, um, and and maybe how you had seen this kind of coming along, but. For them to kind of step up in a game like that without your your, your top player, um, I mean, what in retrospect did that reveal about about these guys? You know, I don't I don't think I really envisioned the game going like it did as well as it did, and I knew that Arike would be would be terrific because that's the kind of player she was in high school. Um, she's really sacrificed a lot to, to get the ball to Bree. Um, I knew Marina was capable. Um, so I think it was an opportunity for them to kind of showcase what they could do while still playing team basketball and, and still having a lot of assists. So, you know, I, I think it showed that we are a team that is hard to guard. We are a team that you have to respect everyone on the floor which makes us really hard to guard. So I think it opens up different things for us in the offense that we, we didn't get. Um, you know, obviously took away a lot of things that we normally get, but, uh, you know, we're playing a little different right now, and I think it's, it's kind of a free, loose, fun type of game.